Free form portion, this, uh, I don't think anything is surprising here for both, you know, if you took any kind of physics class, you should have had that kind of exam. No physics class is taught with a purely multiple choice questions. Um, but on this free form question, I'm doing something new that I haven't tried it before. And uh, I'm trying it as an experiment for exam one for this class. And if it works out terribly, then I won't do it again. So that experiment is what I'm going to call self-grading. It's like a peer grading, it's like you are going to be grading your own work. And the procedure, but it is like a peer grading. If you've been doing peer grading thoroughly, um, faithfully, then you can do self-grading mo mo more or less the same way you did it. I'll just, you can read this on your own to, so that you know what will happen. Let me just highlight a few things. So the exams, they will be returned to you um, as soon as possible after you take it. And in fact, I recommend that you stick around for a bit to get your exam back on the same day. I just need to take all the staples out, scan it in using the scanner that we have back there, and then bring it back. It'll probably take 15 minutes. Stick around, get your exam back, and you will grade it yourself. Uh, when you grade, um, so the fact that I scanned it is important. If you change anything on your exam, I will know. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's necessary for any of you, but. In case it is, <laughs> I have scanned it. Um, so let's see. Ah, so grade your own exam using a distinct instrument. Uh, if you, so if you use pencil, use a pen. Um, blue pen is probably you know, a different color depending on what you did your exam with, so that it's clear what you wrote during the exam and what you are using as grading mark. And so after you return the exam, so this is the rubric that you're using. It's a general rubric that applies to, so usually the way it works is, let's say you have an exam question with the four parts to it, each part will be worth five points each. So you apply this to each one of those five, uh, four parts. Um, so each one multi-part question would have 20 points to it. Um, so let's see. So I would say, you know, do your best. These are fairly general guidelines, and um, in general, it's common for two graders to disagree to this extent. Somebody thinks it's a, four, uh, a work that deserves a four, but someone else might think it's actually a work that deserves three. Or someone, so, so I am aware that different graders may disagree by as much as one point, but it's fairly rare for two different graders to disagree by two points. Like if it's, uh, if it's a work that's so poor that someone would give you a two, then no sensible grade, and that was correct, then no sensible grader should give that a four. Um, so that's what I'm relying on here. And um, uh, so, so, so um, you know, do your best. <laughs> and what I will tell you is I'm going to be meta grading your um, work. So um, this will be more carefully done than peer grading. So in peer grading, you know, if I spot something that's uh, outrageous, then I take a point off. But when I don't, then I, you know, kind of try not to spend too much time. But this is still an exam, so I'm not, you know, I still have to put in the time that I need to. So I'll be checking to see if your score is correct. If not, I am going to actually correct it back. So don't try to, you know, if you got three on most of the parts, bump it up to four. Well, if you do that one, I'm gonna correct it down to three because <laughs> that's the actually correct score. And two, you actually get scored um, in a more detailed rubric than on peer grading. So three is where it looks like you actually understood it. So if you got the question correctly, then this is kind of automatic. But you can still get three out of three, even if you got the comp question completely incorrectly, if you show enough of understanding in your own grading marks. Um, and let's see, and I guess, um, so if you are systematically overvaluing your own work, then I can always bump it down here so that um, you, you, you don't benefit from um, trying to game the system. I, I don't think anyone here would, but you know, uh, the key word is good faith. Do things in good faith, uh, bona fides, then, um, then everything will be fine. If you're trying to game the system, I have this much room to, um, um, I have, so, so if you appear to be acting in bad faith, and that won't be a, any single one thing, it'll usually be a pattern of things. 
So I have enough things here that I think uh, um, there's enough motivation for you to grade your work correctly. So what this uh, will make is each part, instead of being worth five points, it'll actually be eight points. And let's say you, you know, totally missed the question on the first go. You can actually get as much as, let's say, four out of eight. Because if you totally missed it, you would have graded yourself one out of five. But you looked at the solution, you understood it, you corrected everything, then you can get up to four out of eight, which is still not enough to get you an A, but better than failing. Good. OK, so that's it. Um, this is an experiment for exam one. If it goes well, I will do it for exams two and three also. Um, it goes poorly, then I won't do it again. And for the final exam, uh, that cannot be self-graded, because I don't get you guys back after the final exam. So that I just have to grade. Okay.